start of this card is relatively complicated, but it's not that difficult if you take it slowly. Now, although normally I would give you a diagram of a circuit, with this it will be a little more difficult for me to do because it's going on to different pieces as well. So let me just explain. Underneath here, as normal, I have my battery. And this here is my negative. And this is going underneath the battery and it's stuck on uh, with some double-sided tape and the copper tape is put over the top. And I've run the negative down through here. There's a, a light here, which you can't see at the moment because it kind of matches the copper tape. It's a bit of the same color. But it goes up to the first light bulb and it comes down here, along here. Now, it's important when you're making this box card that you put your struts in before you do the lighting because you then keep running the tape, the negative, all the way up here, down the other side, along here, up here, down the other side, and all the way to the middle of this last strut. The positive I have put on a little piece of card which I have folded over the battery and that's only because well, I just decided to do it that way. Normally I just stick it down but because I wasn't sure of my circuitry I thought well I'll make it so I can move it if I need to. So I put it on some paper and the copper tape goes underneath that piece of paper there. And then it goes through to this slit here and it goes through to the back and then it's stuck on the back there. This one is a continuation of the positive and it goes up here on the other side of that bulb and then there's a small gap between the two sets of tape all the way through to the end. That's how the uh, copper tape has been put on. This one is threaded through to the back. This one is threaded through to the back and it only makes contact when a switch is going to be put on there. Now the switch that I'm going to do is a very easy one. It's the same one as I've done for my normal cards. Um, basically there'll be a little switch that goes through there and it's got some copper on and when it meets that copper it's going to connect and therefore switch the lights on. So this card is a little different in that you have to put the switch to the back because obviously you don't want it in the middle of the card. And so the back is going to be covered and this panel is going to be covered. So you need to do all this and then you can do your decoration. I've put the foam tape around the outside of here, making sure that there's nothing that's going to interfere with the running of my switch. I have my switch here. It looks like a piece of star anise almost. And one, two, three, four of these petals are covered with the copper tape. And one is plain. Now in this particular case, you want to push two of those petals to the side which is plain and you want to push it through from the back like so and then whoops I've got too many petals on the other side you want to open it up that way because you need to be able to switch it on and off from the back of the card not from inside so open those two out open those two out and then when it slid up to there it will switch on the circuit and your um, lights will light up. If you're very clever and you've been paying attention you will see that this card has been going backwards. I did have all the foam on and I had all the circuitry on and then I was just about to put it together and my lights were blinking a bit too much I was thinking that's very strange. And I did think that it's quite possible that my batteries are a bit flat. It is true they are probably not 
the full charge. However, I tested the circuit a bit further on and I discovered that my circuit had literally broken on a join here where the card is uh, folded and because I had one of these edges there, when I folded the card, this edge actually broke the tape. Having done all my outside panels and these panels, I didn't want to waste it, I really didn't. So what I did was I cut another back piece, cut the original off and I've kept the bits that I could keep. So I've got my switch here still. I cut some more tabs put the back piece on and now I have to redo my circuitry. Uh, what I'm going to do this time when I do the circuit, I'm going to put some sticky tape over the copper. Obviously not the bits where I have to put the lights on, the lights will go on first. But once I've actually got it done and it's working, I'm going to put some sticky tape over the copper to help give it a little bit of strength and to reinforce it. And then hopefully I won't have the same problem. So I've got my circuit redone and this time I've reinforced things. I've reinforced with sticky tape over these edges here where it bends. I've reinforced down here with sticky tape on this one and all the way down here including where it bends there and where it bends there is covered by tape. So I'm hoping that that is going to stay working. I've put my lights on and tested them. And just now when I tested them, they were working fine. So battery on, switch on. And for some reason, oh, that one's decided to work again now. Phew. <laughs> Thank goodness for that. Okay, so I decided not to go with a fourth light simply because I couldn't be bothered to cut some more copper tape to do any further. But yes, they're all working now, thankfully. So I can redo my bits that I'd already done. And I cut this out and I cut the slit in it, which I didn't actually need to cut on this side. So I recut it and I cut the slit on this side and then I thought, you idiot, you don't need the slit at all on this one. It's like, oh no. Dear, oh dear, oh dear. So anyway, this one can go on the back. I'm going to put this one here even though it's got a slit and I don't need it because when the card's put together, no one's really going to notice. I've got the tape put around the outside here. I've put another piece of foam tape over the switch just to keep added pressure on it. And I'm just going to move the last of the backing tape. I remember just in the nick of time that I hadn't put the hole in here. So I put my machine on cut from centre point and worked out where I wanted it to be and then just did a circle. So now to see if this is going to work. And yes, all my lights are working. It's only taken me all day to do this. <laughs> nothing very, nothing very long at all. No, no. Okay, so I can now put my car together, which is the easier bit of all the things I've done. And this one has already got the double sided tape on it. And that means it's backing removed. Because that is going to close the whole box up. Take this from here. Over like that. Oh, I've got some sticky tape on the other side. Chapter. Okay, so matching everything up. Okay, there we are. And 
there is the basic start of my design at long last. So if I put this switch on here, we get all the lights on. Yay! Pull it down and the lights are off. I can't believe how long that has taken me to do. <laughs> and it's just because I managed to break the copper tape. The copper tape I have isn't very thick and I think some of the ones that you get are thicker and less likely to break but mine is a very thin one so the moral of the tale is if it's going to go around a corner if it's going to bend reinforce it so all i have to do now is make my various elements to go inside and have some fun here's my almost finished card i say almost i've still got to put a sentiment on it and i might yet still add a few little bits and bobs but what I did was I downloaded a whole load of things from Pixabay and I used them for print and cut. I was in a bit of a hurry to finish the card off. I've got a friend coming tonight. She's been delayed, unfortunately, but um, I thought I was going to be in a bit more of a hurry than I actually am. I've put some gems on, a bit of glitter here and there. I've put some sort of glittery glue around these white bits just to give it a little bit of extra twinkle. And I put some 3D varnish on some of these uh, critters down here. The printing cuts, I meant to do them in a photographic paper to make them nice and glossy and I completely and utterly forgot. So when I'd done the print, I just got some of the self-adhesive plastic that you use for book coverings and I just laid that over it before I cut them out. So they still have a bit of a gloss. I have put them up on acetate, uh, touched up with a little bit of glitter here and there, a few gems, and yeah, that's it. But if you like any of these critters, they are from Pixabay. Free to download. And yes, they've got a lot of different images. I was going to do my own design images, but I didn't think I had the time. So there we go. Hope you like the card. It does light up. I suppose I'd better show you that, hadn't I? So switch it back, switch on, and you should be able to see the lights. And if I switch my overhead light off, you should see it even better. There we go. I think that glows quite well. So I hope you like that, and I hope you have a go at doing your own lighting up box card with the very compact LEDs. I've done box cards before with LEDs but they'd be much bulkier lights and I think these are great and it is an easier way of doing it and have a faff around with wires. Okay thanks for watching take care now bye bye